Hello everyone and welcome back. This is part two of my miter saw workstation video. I did buy these plans from the Jay Bates website and got a lot of help from watching his videos. However, I did have to modify things for my garage and my wall, um, which has a breaker box on the wall as well as a control for the sprinkler system that I had to work around. So as you can see, I'm getting all of the lower cabinet drawers in place. And placing uh, bracers for the miter saw work surface area. Here is some video of putting some of the drawer slides in place. Uh, I had these spacers which are part of the plans and it made it really easy to get the drawer slides right where they're supposed to go and then just switch it over and do the other side. I had quite a lot of video of this and it was just the same thing over and over and over so this is just one example of the drawer slides going into place. This is the work surface for the miter saw to sit on and I'm cutting out an area for the dust collection port to sit in and I'm uh, cutting the hole and then I'm going to secure it in place and make sure that it's airtight for the, the dust collection to hook up to. This is just an old fitting that I had a couple of for the shop vac and so I'm kind of sacrificing it to keep it permanently in place. Now I've put that work surface in place and I'm securing it down. I have the other work surfaces in place as well. And I had a lot of video of putting all the drawers in and I lost it somewhere along the way. So as you can see behind me, the drawers are all in place in their drawer slides. Uh, it went really well. I like how all of them uh, slide and they have um, good connections and everything. And I'm working on the boxes that sit on top of the workstation to be able to just see in and grab uh, tools quickly. And here it's pretty much complete. I've got the back on where it can go and it turned out pretty heavy so I uh, slid it into place uh, and then I secured it down with some screws to keep it from moving around. I made this little jig because I had so many drawer pulls to put in place and this just helped, I just had to align the top and one side, and I had the holes in place on either side of uh, where the screw should go. So I just got had to line it up, drill the holes, and then drop the screws in and put the drawer handles in place in all of my drawer fronts. This made it go so much faster than trying to find the center of these and drill the holes in the right place, and I'm glad I went that route. I really like how uh, all the drawer fronts came out, and here I'm putting uh, a couple of them in place. I used uh, this uh, square because it was the right thickness uh, to separate the drawer fronts. all of my drawer fronts in place and ready to start filling up these drawers with all of my stuff. Working on the face frames. So this face frame is going to go on that box that sits on top and I wanted to do a really good job because it's the one that's eye level right in front of me 
uh, for most of the time that I'm working at this workstation. So I made it out of a, a piece of hard maple that I had, and then I sealed all of these with polyurethane and the drawer fronts uh, as well. I didn't want to mar up um, a lot of these face frames with uh, brad nails and stuff, so I ended up securing a lot of them with uh, pocket hole screws uh, from behind so that I wouldn't see where they were connected. Maybe that's kind of excessive, but I just really like the way that it came out without any extra holes in it. And now I'm making a zero clearance uh, table for um, my dado blade to cut. This is the um, T-track that's going um, to hold the tape measure for the miter saw station. And I did a lot of testing before I cut this uh, final piece and it fit in there very nicely and uh, putting it in place. Now I'm cutting a block that I've glued two pieces of plywood together to make the uh, measurement block. And I'm just squaring that up on the table saw sled, cutting it to size. And then I cut a dado in the back to put a strip in there so it would always be lined up and not sitting down on the table work surface and got that all put together. Here's how the measurement block came out and I'm pretty happy with it and uh, I like my red T-track from Grizzly. So here's how this works. Uh, it's adjustable in the back here so that you can get a fine measurement uh, but I have it adjusted and then it just slips on here and the this is a piece of oak slides into the track as well so that it can't tip and then once you have it on there you just tighten that knob I'm trying to do this with one hand and so you can find your measurement and tighten it down and then from there to the blade is 24 inches to here, not to, not to here, so your wood rests up against there. So, I love it. Okay guys, it's been a few weeks since I completed my miter saw workstation and I've been using it. It's not very organized, but I love using it. Everything is at least in a place where I can sort of find it right now and it's turning out to be very uh, helpful. To, um, let me just show you around a little bit. The measuring track came out great. I absolutely love having this uh, to be able to do just a quick measure, cut, and move on. Um, all of my drawers have stuff in them. They're not very organized. I don't know where I'm gonna put everything and, and find everything. My face frame, I really love the way that that came out. Along here and along that side. Um, I 
modified things to fit on my wall. I had to have a place, you know, where I could get to the, the breaker box back there, as well as uh, in here, the sprinkler system is uh, in there. That's why I had to have that little cutout. Uh, and I can reach in and get to that. I made a place here where my lathe, my mini lathe, can just slide right in and out of, and I can still uh, cut things along here. A place over here for a few things, or I'm not sure where they're gonna go, but uh, this is where I've been using them uh, for now. And then I'm gonna continue to uh, work on this, and I'm gonna put a door here and insulate this a little bit so that my dust collection isn't uh, as no noisy, or the noise isn't noticeable because that vacuum is really loud. Uh, I absolutely love how everything came out. Uh, the drawers are great. Uh, got a bunch of pen uh, supplies in there. And I'm working on uh, making pens again uh, to sell. Absolutely love it. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed it.